joining us tonight for Talk Back is Jody Tenbury. She's with the American Red Cross, and it is Red Cross Month. Now, I know a lot of people think Red Cross, they instantly think of blood, but the Red Cross does a lot more than just um, the blood donations everyone's familiar with, correct? Correct. Um, there are a lot of things we do locally and nationally as well. Um, one in particular, obviously most people know about disaster services. So it's not just locally that we give here in the, in the community for um, tornadoes, fires, those kinds of things, but also you know across the country and around the globe. And fires, that's something I think people may hear about where, I mean, if there's something that happens, someone loses their home, the Red Cross is there to step in, correct? Yes. Actually, um, we surprisingly, we respond to about four fires a week, which most people don't know. I mean, most people hear about the big apartment complex fires, but it's the small down-the-street fires that we respond to. So we have volunteers that are on call 24-7, um, and um, they go out once we get a call from the fire department, and that's their volunteer time. They wake up at 2 a.m. or whenever that phone call comes in. They help the family cope. They give them um, whatever they need as far as clothing, food, shelter, um, whatever the case may be, whether or not they have insurance. Um, and you know whether they live in a million dollar home or they're renting an apartment, it, it makes no difference. I know as a teenager I knew about the Red Cross because I actually took a CPR class and that's something else the Red Cross does. Correct? Yep, CPR, first aid, um, babysitting, swim courses, um, all kinds of things that, that we provide to the community just to help people better be trained and prepared for emergencies or other things that may crop up. I think there's something that a lot of people don't know about the Red Cross and um, that, that is, Red Cross actually does has some military service that they do? Yes, we actually have a, a fairly strong military connection. Um, when uh, servicemen come um, home or actually go out um, for deployment, we provide kind of a, a, a education for them and their family members what, um, if something comes up, what we can provide. And in many cases, what happens is if the serviceman has, um, if there's a death or a birth in the family, um, we are the kind of the go-between between the Department of Defense and the family member will call us and say, hey, you know, dad's in the hospital. We're not sure if he's going to make it. We need to make arrangements to get, um, you know, the son home. We then, in turn, uh, make the contact with the DOD, and they find that person and allow them to come home. So, And those are all things the Red Cross does locally, the military, the classes, the disaster services. And then, of course, there's the high-profile national event, and the local chapters help out in that as well, correct? Yes. Um, you know, national disasters happen all the time. Most of the time we don't hear about them unless they're really big like the earthquakes. Um, but we have volunteers that are going um, pretty much on a you know, m monthly basis maybe, um, whatever the case may be, um, just to go and help um, people that aren't in our communities that need help. So how do you want people here in Northwest Ohio to celebrate Red Cross Month? Really, um, many ways. Um, sign up for a class. If you haven't already had a first aid CPR class, you never know when you may need those. Um, obviously give blood. Uh, make a donation, whatever amount, it, you know, anything is, is appreciated, um, or volunteer. And, you know, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities. Some are short-term, like a, a special event, if you just want to do something once in a great while. Um, we have office volunteers that help in our office, um, or become a disaster volunteer, get trained to do that. So people just need to what, contact their local chapter, or is there a website? Um, it's www.redcrosstoledo.org. Um, they can call us at 419-329-2900. Either way, or stop in. Okay, thank you very much. Jody Tinley with the American Red Cross for tonight's talk back.